This is Gina from RN2 Professors with a video for you from my Dimensional Analysis for Nursing series. I will focus on medical math problems you will learn in Nursing Fundamentals for this video. These questions will include conversions of metric and household systems. In this video, I'm going to use dimensional analysis to solve common medical math problems that you will encounter in nursing school. This video will focus on problems that we'll most likely see in nursing fundamentals. These questions are conversion problems that use the metric and household systems. One of the first things that you need to know to solve any medical math problem is dosage calculation conversions. I have a list of the most common ones on this page. To get a free cheat sheet, go to our Facebook page and look in the file section. The link is listed below in our description. There you will find additional quizzes and test taking tips. Also, make sure to subscribe and click the bell below to get notified when additional videos are released. Let's take a look at our first problem. A drug is labeled 650 micrograms of the active ingredient in each tablet. How many milligrams is this equivalent to? This is a simple conversion problem. To convert this problem, we need to know how many micrograms are in a milligram. We know that by looking at our conversion chart. There are a thousand micrograms in one milligram. We're going to use dimensional analysis to solve this problem. The first part of the problem will be the starting unit of measure, or what was ordered. And then the second part will be our conversion. On the top, we want to put our ending unit of measure. And on the bottom, you want to put the starting unit of measure to cancel out because we work diagonally in dimensional analysis. Here is my problem. As I stated above, the first part of the problem is our starting unit of measure, which is the 650 micrograms. We want to get that to milligrams. So we use our conversion, which is right here, and we put micrograms on the bottom because again, that is the unit that we want to cancel out, and milligrams on the top. So we work diagonally, cross out our micrograms, leaves us with milligrams, which is what we want our answer to be in, so we can go ahead and solve. To do that, you multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom. So 650 times one is 650, and one times 1,000 is 1,000. The next part to solve here is 650 over 1,000, and that equals 0 0.65 milligrams, and that is the answer to this question. Let's move on to our next question. The client drank 2.5 liters of fluid during the shift. How many milliliters did the client intake? In this problem, we're going to convert liters to milliliters. So we need to know how many milliliters are in a liter. There are a thousand milliliters in a liter, and again, we got that from our conversion chart. Setting it up in dimensional analysis, here is my problem. First part is our starting units of measure, which is the 2.5 liters. Next part is our conversion liters on the bottom because that's the unit that we want to cancel out. So we can cross that out because we work diagonally. Leaves us with milliliters, which is what we want for the answer to this question. And go ahead and solve. 2.5 times 1,000 is 2,500, and 1 times 1 is 1. So our answer is 2,500 milliliters. Pretty simple. Let's see if we can make it a little bit more difficult. In some of the problems that you will see, you'll be asked to look at labels. We have penicillin, potassium, oral solution, 100 milligrams, PO, Q6 hours is ordered. How many milliliters will the nurse administer to the client? What is important to know in this problem is 100 milligrams, that's our starting measure, and then what are we being given? And that we will find on our label. So what we need to look for is what is the dosage at, in the volume? And that is listed right here. You'll see it's 125 milligrams per five milliliters. 
And that's what we're going to need to know to do our problem. So here is my problem. We start off with our starting unit of measure, which we got from the problem. That's our 100 milligrams. And then we want to get to milliliters. And you see that we have milliliters in our solution. So we're going to put our known volume and known dosage next. We'll put our milligrams on the bottom because that is the unit that we want to get rid of. So we cross off milligrams, and that leaves us with milliliters, which is what we want for the answer to this problem. Multiply across the top and the bottom. That leaves us with 500 over 125, and that equals 4 milliliters. Our answer for this problem is 4 milliliters. Let's take a look at another label question. In this one, we're going to add a conversion. The physician orders 0.15 grams of Augmentin PO now for a pediatric patient. How many milliliters of medication do you give? So we're going from grams to milliliters, and we need to know what we are receiving. So what we're given is this right here, again, 125 milligrams per 5 milliliters. To get from grams to milliliters, we first need to go from grams to milligrams. You'll see that then there's milligrams in our known volume, known dosage. Here is how I set up my problem. First part of the problem is our starting units of measure, which is the 0.15 grams. Then we need to convert that because we want to get rid of the grams and get to milligrams so that we can go from milligrams to milliliters. So we put our grams diagonal each other, cross off our grams, that leaves us with milligrams. But now we need to get to milliliters. So we take the information we got right here from our label and we put it in our formula. We make sure that we put our milligrams on the bottom diagonal to our milligrams here so we can cross them off. And that leaves us with milliliters, which is what we want for our answer. Then go ahead and multiply across the top and the bottom. It gives us 750 over 125, which equals 6 milliliters. And that is our answer. Okay, let's move on to our last question. In this question, a client is ordered 0.5 milligrams of digoxin. 250 microgram tablets are available. How many tablets will you give? Things that are important here for this problem are our 0.5 milligrams, then our what is available, and then our conversion because we need to get from milligrams to micrograms, but first we need to know what the conversion is. And so we have a thousand micrograms in one milligram. Here's how we set up this problem. We're going to put our starting unit of measure here, which is what was ordered, 0.5 milligrams. Next, we're going to put our conversion because we want to get this down to micrograms. So we put 1,000 micrograms on top and the milligrams on the bottom so we can cross this out. Now we're left with micrograms, which is what we have in our tablets, but we want this to end in tablets because the question is asking us how many tablets will you give. So the next thing we need to do is get rid of the micrograms. So that's where we're going to take what we have on hand, which is the 250 micrograms per tablet, put the micrograms on the bottom so we can cross off that unit of measure, and now we're left with tablets, which is what we want for our answer. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, 500 over 250 equals 2, so our answer is 2 tablets. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to our channel for free and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos come out. Also, join our Facebook group for additional material. The link is here on this page and also in our description. There you can get additional tips and tricks and quizzes. Thank you for joining me today.